the hypothalamus releases growth hormone releasing hormone, which signals the pituitary to release growth hormone. The co-secretor ghrelin increases the rate at which growth hormone is released in the presence of growth hormone releasing hormone. So you need two of these hormones to get the maximum amount of growth hormone release. Ghrelin is released by the gastrointestinal tract, especially in the stomach, as a response to hunger. And the somatostatin does the opposite. It blunts growth hormone secretion when you've been eating. It overrides that signal from the hypothalamus to the pituitary. Growth hormone causing a little bit of lipolysis, which then also releases glycerol from the stored backbone of body fat, which is converted into glucose through gluconeogenesis in the liver, raising glucose concentrations. So when you take growth hormone, not only do you increase free form fatty acids, you also increase glucose concentrations. And you don't want this to happen in the presence of foods, which will make you acutely insulin resistant. This is why we don't take growth hormone with meals. We ideally take this in a fasted stomach.